Hi, this is a demonstration of the new features we've added to Cisco Configuration Assistant uh, version 1.9. In CCA 1.9, one of the major enhancements we've added is the ability to configure additional SIP trunk service providers. So, in addition to the two service providers we supported in earlier versions, we've added five new SIP trunk providers which have been fully certified uh, by Cisco. So, for example, if you choose Exo Communications, uh, one of our new SIP trunk service providers, all you have to do is enter several parameters, and the rest of the configuration will ha be handled automatically by CCO. So, once you enter these parameters, CCO, uh, CCA will automatically apply the configurations to the C500 uh, to guarantee that the C500 can interoperate uh, with the SIP trunk provider that you selected. Another major enhancement we've added to CCA is the ability to customize your outbound uh, dial plan. CCA 1.9 includes seven different uh, country templates that are included uh, by default. So if you select the North American uh, dial plan in the template screen, you'll see that the North American template is automatically configured. So if you select the configure button, you could see further details uh, for that country's dial plan. So the screenshot you see here is for North America. For each dial pattern that's included in the template, you could also select which trunk type the call will go out of. If you have SIP trunk configured, by default, the call will first attempt to reach the SIP trunk, and if the SIP trunk is unavailable, then it will fail over to the PSTN. However, uh, you may choose to have certain dial patterns only go out the PSTN, or uh, other dial patterns uh, may uh, only go out the SIP trunk. So in that case, you would select uh, which trunk uh, hunting option you'd want the outbound call to go out of. So in this case, we've selected PSTN only uh, for your emergency 911 calls and SIP trunk only uh, for your international calls. But uh, for each different uh, dial pattern, you could select a different uh, option for which trunk you want the call to go out of. The other major enhancements are uh, functionality in the uh, voice features tab. The major function here is the ability to configure uh, call, blast, uh, call blast groups. We can configure up to four different uh, call blast groups in CCA 1.9. Uh, each call blast has a different uh, pilot number, uh, which will uh, automatically ring uh, the members of that call blast group simultaneously. So uh, for each different call blast group, you would select the members button and then select which extensions you want to have uh, be members of that call blast group. In addition to internal extensions, you could also specify external numbers which will be dialed at the same time uh, as the internal extensions if somebody rings the call pilot uh, number. If nobody chooses to answer the call blast group uh, after a specified timeout, you could have the call uh, be forwarded uh, to an alternate destination uh, such as voicemail, another internal extension, another hunt group, another call blast group, or again another external number like a 1-800 uh, number that is on the PSTN. The other major category of enhancements uh, we've made uh, in CCA 1.9 uh, is in the auto attendant. So the auto attendant uh, has two major types. Uh, one is the standard type and the other one is the multi-level type. The multi-level auto attendant is a single uh, auto attendant uh, which has uh, multiple submenus or tiers. Uh, the multi-level auto attendant can have up to three submenus. The main menu of the auto attendant is reached by dialing the AA extension number. The business hours for that auto attendant uh, will be specified on the system schedule. And you could choose to have different uh, menu options for the auto attendant depending on whether you're uh, within the business hours or if your system's uh, within the uh, closed hours. So you could see uh, by default the business hours and the closed hours uh, play a different prompt when people dial into the auto attendant. 
you could also have different menu options. So during daytime hours, you may choose to have the call uh, be routed to another submenu when people press zero on their touchtone uh, keypads. And you could have calls routed to different submenus depending on which keypad number they choose to press. And during closed hours, you could have a completely different set of menu options. You could choose to have uh, a message played out saying that your business is closed. Uh, and you could have different uh, options uh, on each submenu as well. So if you choose a submenu here, uh, you could choose to do other things like call another extension or another number. Uh, in this case, it could be even be a 1-800 number. Um, or you could also choose to have the call go back uh, to the main menu. So uh, there are a lot of uh, flexible options here uh, available for each uh, submenu. Each submenu could have its different uh, menu options. And then once you are done, you just click apply and the auto attendant uh, will be configured automatically. The other major option here is the standard option. Uh, in this case, uh, you'll be able to configure up to three standalone or different auto attendants, uh, each with its different pilot number, and each separate auto attendant can also have uh, its uh, unique uh, options. So you could have uh, the auto attendants dial out an extension. Uh, you could have an option to dial by name or dial by number uh, for a ketone press. And you could also have uh, the call go to a hunt group that's configured on your system as well. The other major enhancement in the auto attendant option is the ability to customize uh, your auto attendant prompts. You could do this uh, in one of two ways. The first way is to use the built-in sound recorder for CCA. So you press the record button here and if you have a microphone on your PC, uh, you could record uh, whatever prompt you want and that prompt uh, you can then upload uh, into the C500. And whatever prompt you upload will appear on the list on the bottom. The other option is to configure a uh, phone recording extension uh, which you could dial from any IP phone on your C500 and when you dial in you'll be asked for a username uh, and PIN number and once you authenticate yourself uh, you'll be able to record the prompt using your IP phone handset. And once that prompt is recorded, uh, that prompt will automatically be uploaded into the EC500. And again, you'll see uh, the prompt in the list of available um, uh, audio prompts. And uh, once that prompt is uploaded, you can select uh, that prompt to be played out uh, in the main greeting and also in any of the uh, menu options that you choose to invoke through the auto attendant uh, menu. So that in a nutshell are some of the major enhancements uh, we've added to CCA 1.9. There are certainly a lot more features uh, that we've added uh, which will be covered uh, in various documentation available through the support community. I certainly hope uh, you enjoy the new features we've added to CCA 1.9 and we welcome your feedback. Thank you for listening.